Woo! Good Lord, man. How you doing, guys? Bipolar Bear here. Let me turn a little fan on so you can at least see me. Good night, man. Uh, how's it going, guys? Doing a little juice review for you today. I've got a new uh, producer that I found online. I did a random search for uh, new types of juices that I thought of, and I thought of what if they make bacon flavored? Go through a few links, find some stuff, and lo and behold, I found Maple Bacon by Dewdrops. This little bottle right here. Uh, I can't remember the price of it. I think it was around 12 bucks. Uh, don't quote me on that. I will dig up the information and put it in the links down below. Oh my god. It's a 3070 blend. Uh, shake well for each use. Electronic cigarette liquid. Yada, yada, yada on the label. Uh, it does have all the information you need to know about what's in it. But more importantly, how does it taste? I have it in a uh, my Kanger K box, and then the Aspire, the original Atlantis is sitting in it. I don't normally feel like a whole tank and then try a liquid if I don't know if it's good. Uh, I did that with this, and this is actually my third tank. Um, so I'll go ahead and do a puff. I'll blow a cloud real fast with this mod. I'll tell you the settings and everything in a second, but this is... Wait a second. Oh. Wow. This is the best blind purchase I've ever made. Uh, the flavor that is in this juice is mind-boggling. I believe I got the flavor shot to kind of boost it a little bit. When you, when at first, whenever the, the uh, vapor comes out, you smell maple syrup. Oh my God. I'm a fat kid, okay? I smell this, I think, of breakfast. Uh, when you take it in, your mouth and your throat, you get that feeling of the maple, like nice warm maple syrup being poured on pancakes or whatnot. That, that good feeling. When you exhale, you get more of the maple, then you start to get some of the saltiness of a bacon. Uh, now it's inconsistent because sometimes I get just a straight crispy piece of the lean on the bacon. Other times I get more of a bacon bit kind of flavor. I know this, it's not much of a distinction, but to me it is. Uh, it's delicious either way. Don't get it twisted. It's unbelievably good. But anyway, let's do a little review on that. So here we go. Let me start with the bottle. Let me put this up over here. On the bottle, you have the name of the liquid. You have listed on here the name of the liquid, the name of the liquid company. Uh, it does have your nicotine level straight on the front of it. Uh, it is a PG VG mix of 30 70, VG being the 70. Uh, I, I did get a 10% boost, which they printed on this label, which I can tell was made especially for this bottle because uh, it has a born on date, which is kind of cool. I like it whenever producers do that. Uh, it does have this product contains nicotine, it has the ingredients. It has do not drink, avoid contact with skin. It has the poison control number on the bottle. Not many liquids I've seen yet have this information, which is stupendously good. It even comes with its own UPC, so these guys mean business. The bottle itself, it's not opening because it has a child cap. You cannot open this unless you know how to open the child-resistant cap. Of course, you know, you have to push down and then open it that way, then it comes right off. That's as safe as you can get. So, I'm amazed. Uh, Dew drops, guys, five out of five on your bottle. On the look of the bottle, the information is provided, five out of five. The fact that it has the child safety cap built in beyond the first opening of the liquid, uh, Six out of five. This is a very safe product to have. Of course, you know, being responsible vapors, we keep our liquid away from pets and kids and annoying people you just want to throw it on. 
Maybe I shouldn't say that. Ah, it's, it's out there. Uh, the color of the liquid, uh, you can kind of tell inside the tank. It is a little darker than what I normally go for, but the... I can I know it's it's there because of the flavor boost, so I'm okay with that. Five out of five. The consistency of the liquid is right in that little median zone that I like. It's not too thick to where it'll clog up your atomizer, and it'll clog up your coils, and it makes it harder to suck through. And then you change liquids, and it's it's it doesn't seem to do that. I've had something in the tank between the second and third fillings of this tank from that bottle and i got the, the liquid taste from the last bottle for like the first couple puffs and this just took over so it flows really nice it burns really nice it shouldn't say burn it atomizes really nice uh, it's a nice smooth vape there's no really intense throat hit just enough because i like the higher throat the higher vg to give me that throat hit like it's a cigarette but it's smooth, and that flavor, oh, it's unbelievable, guys. Anyway, five out of five on the flavor, five out of five on the bottle, five out of five on everything. So dew drops, you are bipolar bear approved, and I will provide links to you guys in the description. You guys need to go there. You need to buy some bottles. I'm going to be trying some other liquids by them. I'm going to be ordering more from them. Yeah, this is going to be a daily vape. I like to throw up different things into my uh, atom. I've got several tanks, and this bacon is going to be part of my daily vape. So it's probably going to have this tank dedicated to that until I decide to try something else for a while. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you get back to what you were doing. I will talk to you later. Guys, Go visit Dewdrops. They are worth your time. These guys are great. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. I'm going to do a little outro on this. Whew. Stay sexy.